Hey everybody, what is up and welcome to kind of an inevitable video for me. Uh, before I get to all that mess though, I want to talk about just 2017 as basically the year of the platformer. For a genre that's pretty much been one of the core parts of gaming and helped get it to where it is today. In fact, it helped bring gaming to life with Super Mario. It hasn't really been too much in the mainstream scene aside from maybe indie games and basically Nintendo. Nintendo has been keeping the platforming genre alive. And as much as I know that that's, that's why it's never going to die, because let's face it, Nintendo's never going to die, it's kind of sad to see that, oh, aside from maybe an indie game that's not going to get too much buzz, I'm not really going to get a platformer aside from Nintendo. And 2017 was kind of a year that said, yeah, no, we're going we're gonna to give you some good stuff. We got Ukulele, the spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie. We got the motherfucking return of Crash God Dang Bandicoot. We got his remaster, and it got so much praise. We got other fun games, like A Hat in Time, that just made people fall in love with its cuteness. And we also got Sonic Mania, which was a love letter to classic Sonic and had so much fan devotion to it that I actually kind of appreciated it, even though I'm not a huge Sonic fan. I was like, yeah, I might actually play that because it looks like it's fun because they put so much love into that. And then we got Super Mario Odyssey. It looks fantastic. It's in so much praise, and I'm happy to see 3D Mario back after a kind of a long hiatus. And with all these coming out, I knew that one of the platforming games that was going to get a huge buzz was not going to reach its hype. And that one was Sonic Forces. And this got me thinking a lot about my opinions on Sonic as a whole. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm trashing on Sonic Forces. I have no opinion on it because I've never played the damn game. So I'm just saying, judging by what I've seen, it doesn't reach up to the hype. And since we've all calmed down about it, yeah, probably not. But this got me thinking about my opinions on Sonic as a whole. And I wanted to explain why I've never really been a huge Sonic fan. Now, I do enjoy some Sonic games, like I really enjoy Sonic and All-Star Generation Transformed, but I don't really consider that to be a Sonic game. It's more like a Sega game. It just has mo mostly Sonic in it. And then there's also stuff like the Sonic Advance series, which I do enjoy. I've played 2 and 3, but I've never really gone back to them. And there's other little games here and there that I, I've enjoyed in the past. But it's just... I'll break it down. The first thing is, what is the basis of Sonic platforming? Speed. You gotta go fast, you zoom through levels and everything like that, you just go foo 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 foo, spinning around at the speed of sound. As much as I do enjoy speed running in platformers, a platformer completely composed and directed towards speed never really appealed to me too much. I don't know, I've always been a more fan of precision platforming. Or, if it's going to be speed-based, it's not entirely reactionary. Um, because I, I enjoy Crash Bandicoot, which is a moderately speedful platformer, but it never really gets to the point of reactionary. Or, like, um, if something happens too fast for you to notice. If that does happen, it's very rare, and usually I'm not too big a fan of it. But, for the most part, it's more focused on the platforming instead of the speed. Same thing with stuff like Mario and Spyro. I really enjoy 3D platformers, which are never based on speed, let's be honest. I just I never really was too gravitated towards this idea of going super fast as the main basis of my platformer. In fact, if you've watched my or watched uh, the Versus live streams I had with Noah of Mario, I was at a huge disadvantage because I don't play Mario the same way he does. I don't speed through it so fast. I'm a lot more precise about it. And that's that that goes to the reason why I just never really gravitated towards Sonic. Now some Sonic spin-offs I do enjoy because they're more based on speed, like the racing games and such. I do enjoy those because those are games based off speed that aren't platformers, they're racing games. Of course I'm gonna enjoy those. But it's just I never really was too like, yeah, going super fast. I I don't know. It was just never really my thing. And a lot of the like beloved classic Sonic games, aside from like maybe the original classics, which I do enjoy, but I never really was like, oh my god, I love these games! Like stuff like Adventure and stuff like that, I, I, I thought were just not good games at all. That's not a problem. Sonic, in, in my personal opinion, is not a good franchise. And I think even some Sonic fans out there can agree with me on that. Because even though I will admit there are definitely some great Sonic games out there that I don't personally love, but I know other people love, and I know are good games, 
a majority of the games that come out for Sonic are not good. <laughs> They're just not. They're pretty bad. Um, and oftentimes, it's, Sonic has just lately come into mediocrity or just, oh god, what is that monstrosity? Like that kind of thing. It's not a good franchise. It's collected of good games, but there's too many bad ones to call it a good franchise. In fact, I even struggle to call Crash Bandicoot a good franchise, because in my opinion, only half the games are really all that great. Now, granted, I don't think Crash Bandicoot gets nearly to the bad part that Spyro, and, uh, not Spyro. Yeah, sure, Spyro 4 is awful when it makes me cry, uh, but it never gets to the bad point that's, that Sonic does. In fact, I think probably the worst games are only maybe like the general bad game for, for Sonic. And Crash at least had the dig dignity to go away for a while, <laughs> whereas Sonic's just like, I'm still here, I'm trying to be relevant. But he, he just kind of isn't, because Classic Sonic, I, I love the attitude of Classic Sonic. It, he has this, this kind of, like, fast 90s attitude that's really still kind of enjoyable. But it hasn't translated too well to the modern day. And he just hasn't found a way to adapt like Mario has. So I just, I never really put too much of my time with Sonic. And even if... I, I, I might actually end up liking him if I played more. It, it just never really appealed to me to go and pick up a Sonic game and play it a lot. Because again, the whole basis, the whole concept of the games never truly gravitated towards me. And that's kind of a major problem. <laughs> you can't really, really get into a game if you can't really enjoy it. Like a lot of people, one of the reasons why people bitch on Five Nights at Freddy's is because they can't gravitate towards the play style. It doesn't bother me. I think the games are okay, but um, it's just that's it's an example of why play style can really really matter uh, for a gamer, and that's that's just kind of why I never really gravitated towards Sonic, along with other things like you know not enough good games to choose from, and the extended cast is just awful. Must be honest. Amy the Amy the Hellspawn, Big the Retarded Cat, uh, Shadow the Edge Lord, Boobs the Bat, you know stuff like that. Just it, why? <laughs> why are there so many of you damn creatures? But yeah, uh, I'm not saying I hate Sonic. No, 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 no. I love the original three characters. Um, the original original games are fun. I enjoy the look of certain games. I like the soundtracks. I'll admit there are definitely good games out there. But Sonic as a franchise never really appealed to me too much. I'm sorry. Um, that's that's just my whole basis of explanation. So now you can stop saying, oh, I'm okay, hey, Sonic, even though you inevitably still will. But I, I, I know I can see the comments already. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video somehow, please go ahead and make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. <laughs> oh. That was sad. Check out my videos, also make sure to check out my supporters, all that great stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. I did this too I did this too soon. I, I, I suppose this to peace out. I, I did it too soon. Fuck. Fuck everything's fucked up! Ah, I quit! Holy shit! I don't quit, I'm just kidding. I'm just upset that I fucked this up. Bye.